All right, Troy, first impressions of Mark Sanchez. He looked the part of a leader. He showed composure. Remember, his first pass, Lionel, left-handed, going Jake <laughs> the Snake Plumber. They get a holding call. You're like, oh, God, here we yeah. go. And then he settled down. He made th third-down conversions. I liked what I saw out of Sanchez, and yet he throws the pick. He can't seem to separate himself in this competition, would he? Well, I was having problems with all three quarterbacks that we – Harken back to last year where they scored one touchdown yep. for four quarters one. against a team that looked like it was showing up first day of, of training camp. I mean, John Fox is in trouble there. But in regard to Sanchez, I still think he looks like a backup quarterback. You and I spent an afternoon together the other day. Yeah, we and did. You were defending him, and I was saying he's a backup quarterback. If I am in charge of this team, I make the decision to put the rookie in there and just go with him. Now, Paxton Lynch starts now. I think he showed enough to me in the second half that he's prepared. This game is not too fast for him. Well, I, I disagree. I think Sanchez is the guy for now. But we'll talk about Trevor Simeon in just a minute, guys. Let's talk third down conversions, though. Troy, you talked to Mark after the game about one of the most important stats on the sheet. Well, if you're going to extend drives, you've got to be able to make plays. Gary Kubiak asked his quarterback to make a couple plays every series uh, to keep him going. He was 3-for-3 three three on third down in that first drive, Lionel, for 59 yards and a touchdown. Right. Let's not sleep on that. He ended up 4-for-4 four four on third down, Woody. So that's still important to me that he was able to extend drives. And he was using the tight end. Who knew? Virgil Green could catch. He brought up something that I think is so important. And we mentioned Jake Plummer earlier. What Jake was so effective at was running the option play outside. Guess what? Mark Sanchez is not a mobile quarterback. The other two are a lot more yeah, mobile, and right. that's going to be the problem because that's the way they set up the play action. That's how they set up throwing the ball downfield is with that option to the outside of the quarterback. Right. Well, let's listen to uh, Mark's conversation with Troy when you talk to him about those third down conversions. Yeah, like you said, Troy, that's, um, that's where, you know, quarterbacks kind of make their – their their uh, their name is on third down and in the red zone. That's really and Coach Kubiak's not shy about telling us. That's what you guys get paid to do. First and second down, you know everybody can get completions, but you gotta you gotta win on third down. You gotta put the ball where it's supposed to be. You gotta throw guys open, anticipate windows, and uh, understand you're gonna take some shots. But you gotta be able to pop back up and and move the team down the field. And I thought we did that tonight. That was um, that was a great job by that group. All right. So Sanchez started game one. Now, guys, does Trevor Simeon? Start game two. If it's an open competition, which it clearly was, Lionel, entering that first preseason game against the Bears, then Simeon should start against the Niners. The one caveat, Woody, is this. They scrimmaged the Niners this week. Yep. So they could adjust it to where Simeon gets first-team reps against the Niners in practice well, and then still San start uh, Sanchez in the game. You start him so he can work with the first team in game conditions, not during practice. Yes, you go with him this week. That's only fair if you are wide open with – these two guys, exactly. then you give him the start against 49ers. Right. If there's been not enough separation between the two to say, hey, Mark's our starter here, then yeah, you give Tre Trevor Simeon the start here in game two and see what happens. And if Paxton Lynch plays the second half like he did against the Bears, does he get the start in game three? <laughs> No, we're not there yet. So. I don't think so. Pump but, the hey, brakes, Lionel. Sure, Pump it, the brakes. Great conversation. But though, what sure. happens, though, just let me mention this, what if he starts game four, which he's going to do if right. one of those guys makes it, and he plays, plays the best out. of all of them? This is what I love about this competition, <laughs> right, guys? 